know, the really, really frustrating thing about this disease is that there's really no mainstream medical device that helps you eliminate your reflux uh, outside of surgery. Um, everything is really geared towards management. So the proton pump inhibitors, the H2 blockers, you know, the omeprazoles, the, the nexiums, the pro protonics, um, all those things are really designed to help you manage your symptoms, not eliminate it. Uh, I, for one, took um, increasing levels of those medications over the course of 15 years. And as my symptoms got worse and worse, I'd go back to the doctor, tell them what was going on, and they would tell me, you know, these medicines are really not designed for use for longer than eight weeks. They've got um, some significant side effects you should be aware of, um, and I can't really recommend that you continue to take them. Um, but then in the very next breath, they would say, um, go ahead and we're gonna double your dose, or we're gonna have you try this other medication, and uh, maybe this will help you out. Um, and I did that. I continued to increase my dosage um, from 10 all the way up to 40 milligrams. At the same time, I was also taking uh, antacids like Tums, uh, like there were Tic Tacs. I went through a bottle or maybe two, uh, I would say every month. And so all these things are really just kind of mitigating my symptoms, never eliminating it. Towards the end, and I say the end because this is before I resolved my reflux entirely, um, I started to develop what's known as um, LPR, or silent reflux. And you know, I didn't know what the terms were at the time. All I knew is my reflux had escalated to a point where taking more uh, of the medicine was no longer helping me. I went to the doctor that recommended uh, trying a different medication. Uh, for, for me, this was pantoprazole. Um, they recommended increasing my dose, you know, giving, doubling it up to 80 milligrams a day. Uh, during the times that I was taking it, nothing worked. Um, in this particular type of reflux, if you've got it, it is nasty. I mean, it is about the worst thing you could imagine. It's like having acid reflux um, on top of having a, a, a sinus infection at the same time all day. Um, you know, when you lay down and you wake up, you've got a mouthful of bile, um, this nasty taste in your mouth that's kind of sour, um, acidic. You get this post-nasal drip. Um, it is just, it's, it's awful. Um, and I wanted nothing more than to get rid of it, but I didn't know what to do. The doctors had nothing for me. Um, thankfully, a, a friend of the family recognized some of the symptoms that I was dealing with. And um, while she didn't know how to resolve it, she had given me enough of a tip to help me kind of research some options. Um, with a little bit of research, I stumbled on uh, a couple of things that were really life-changing for me. Um, I found that if I took a hydrochloric um, acid supplements, this is a betaine variety with pepsin um, in combination with some digestive enzymes. Um, and I also threw in apple cider vinegar. Uh, if you stick around for some of my other videos, I'll share with you kind of the, the reason for all these things. Um, but just for now, I'll, what I wanted to share with you is that the combination of those three supplements uh, really worked wonders on me. Um, I took them with meals. Um, uh, I'll share with you some of the resources that I've got to tell you exactly kind of what dosage I was able to land on and why. Um, but it was immediately apparent to me when I started taking those supplements that this was going to heal me. And in fact, that very next day after taking the first round, I started the acidrefluxguy.com. Then they had the idea that I had to get this information out to as many people as possible um, because I had suffered with it for 15 years with really no help. Um, a lot of really well-intentioned people, but I think the medical community, unfortunately, is not really armed with the information they need to diagnose the true root causes of the disease um, or to resolve it. Um, all they will give you is those acid reflux medications, which um, I later found were never really designed for the common acid reflux sufferer. Um, these are really more designed for people that have um, severe inflammatory issues of the gut and uh, reducing this acid um, will help you uh, resolve some of those inflammatory issues or at least manage it. Um, but over time, the use of those medications became more mainstream. And because there were really no other um, solutions provided by the pharmaceuticals, the doctors essentially will prescribe these. Um, you know, they'll stop at things like uh, identifying your hiatal hernia as a, as a root cause when it never really was the root cause. So, you know, I want to share with you that. Um, stick around and watch just a few more of my videos and you will find out exactly kind of how and why these things work. I didn't want to go into that with this introductory video. I really just wanted to share with you um, kind of what I found uh, at a high level. More resources available on my website, theacidrefluxguy.com, where you can go and you can find out exactly um, how I resolved my reflux. Mm -hmm.